Hey, do you want to learn how to use Grok Studio, which is now called DeepSight? In this video, I'm going to help solve a problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So Grok Studio is now called DeepSight. I'm not sure how that happened, but yep, that's what it is. And it's made by XAI. And if you click on Explore Grok Studio, it's going to take you over to DeepSight.site. On here, I was trying it out. You get five free credits to use it and every time you try to message it it takes one credit from your total balance and i don't think that they put your credits in renewal each month so it's not like you're going to get the credits again next month in the free plan you need to upgrade to the pro plan over here the pro and pro max all right let's take a look at this app builder i'm going to click here this text deep site and this logo kind of reminds me of deep seek this Chinese AI, you can see the logo and the text. And if I go here, it kind of looks similar to it. This is chat history. You can go into your chat history and you've got the library. So this is all the apps that you've built till now here. And on the bottom, you can just click on it and there's credits, user center and sign out. Now I've built this app, this weather forecast app. You just have to type it here inside this prompt box there's no way to upload an image into the app if you want to do it there's no way and i've made another tutorial on hosting your horizons in that tool you can upload your own image as well to the app so over here i've asked it to build an app that shows weather so it just made this and i can go into preview and the code so here the ai wrote the whole code and you can download this code if you want to your computer. You can also copy it. You can check out the whole code here. And I can also switch to preview. So it's going to show how the app looks like. And I can also preview it in a new tab. It's going to preview this app on this domain, which is a subdomain from deepsite.live. This link, you can give it to someone else as well and they can see your app. You can also preview it on a mobile and on desktop. Now on the left hand side, I can click on this button, weatherapp.html, this is version one. Before it was working, this was the first version. If I click on here, it's going to show you this. These are all the features in it. And then I said, okay, add this API key. So this took one more credit out of my total balance. And when you sign up for a free plan, you're going to get five total credits. Now, how to get this API key? So you need to go over to openweathermap.org and you need to sign up for an account. Once you do that, you'll be taken over to here. It may ask you to add your bank details or credit card. Don't do it. Just open up another tab and type in openweathermap.org and sign in again. Once you do that, it's going to take you over to this page. Go to API keys. Then you're going to see the key here or you can create a new key as well so this is currently on the free plan the free tier so as you can just copy it from here and then go back to deepsite.site and that is how i found this api key now once i've said to add this api key or you can also just add it yourself as well by going into the code and finding where you need to put it by finding this api key section and you can just replace it from here as well to just put it here the api key in my case i said okay i'm going to just give it to the ai to make changes to it so it made the version 2 here so it added the open weather api key on it and also implemented the loading spinner during api requests and it added the default location to new york the app is now fully functional so i'm going to click on it to show you this is what it created and if I want, I can change it to something else as well, like this, Australia, and I can select it, search for it, and it's going to change uh, the location, what temperature is currently there, the clear sky, humidity, wind, pressure, and the five-day forecast. Now, once you're done with the app, you can click on this on the top right to view the app like I showed you before. It's going to be on a subdomain. And you can use this link, share it with someone else, and they can also view your app and just change the location and view the weather. And if you're thinking of adding your own custom domain, 
they don't have it currently and i'm not sure if they would have that in future i also made another tutorial on uh, hosting horizons they have got this ability to add a custom domain and make a web app like that but in there you need to pay for the hosting horizons web hosting as well so you need to pay like 19.99 per month or something to get access to the web hosting as well but on deep side what you could do is you can host it on any web hosting platform a shared hosting or something so you just need to take that code this whole code this html code just download it to your computer and then you can host it on a website and if you want to learn how to do that just let me know in the comments and i'll make a tutorial on it and that's it that's how to use grok studio which is now called deepsite.site and i still feel that logo this logo looks very similar to deep seek which is a Chinese app. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but this is how it is. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and on the right hand side, you're going to find more AI tutorials, deep side tutorials, and hosting horizons tutorials. So see you there and bye for now.